Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the episode 5 of Sentence of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. We are finally going to see Tuli baptism today. I am so excited. I cannot wait to see how this is going to look. <clears throat> Strange feature, fear. Time twister. All the other kids look average. She looked beautiful as heck. I'm sorry. Yes, you gotta remember, they've never seen something like that before. Today's a happy day. It's a little upsetting that the parents don't get to go with them because, I mean, this is a special occasion. And the fact is, I'm guessing we're really only probably going to see it in, like, Tuli's POV after this part. I don't know. But hopefully we get to see inside. I mean, it'd be a little fucked up. Yeah, we ain't get to see it. Let's talk about it. 
What's wrong? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Did she just bark again, dog? Wait! Hmm. I wish you would have saw it, but no. Oh, how did you make the star of heart shape? Oh, I'm happy for her. And see, next thing you know, it's going to be opposite the next episode, and then it's going to be next year, and then we're going to see mine. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What is it? Oh, you like the dagger. Yeah, nice. That's cute. I mean, damn, Luke's just cutting that thing down like it's nothing. Shit. Yeah, you may want to start on smaller ones and not really big ones. Take your time. Perfect. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
So sweet. <laughs> no. My freaking children. I love them so much. <laughs> no, 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 no. For someone else. You need, yeah, you need paint, like ink. Yeah, but your parents might use them as firewood. I don't think there's an octopus or a squid around here, babe, but you can try. Use ash to make soap and thaw ice.
That's a good question. <laughs> the fact is that these two little kids are able to walk out there by themselves. They're gone. Yeah. And flat. Oh. Uh -huh. But it wasn't fireworks. It wasn't fireworks, though. Oh, mine! My mom used my firelight. Just stay there with her. No, baby, you're gonna finish a book. So fucking cute, I can't. Mm -hmm. It could be also because you're using them strange powers that we barely really know anything about.
Excuse me. <laughs> well, we ain't gonna know until next week. Okay. So, I mean, with this episode, I do really feel bad for her. She tries her hardest every single week. This is episode five, for Christ's sake. And this poor child still can't get anything to write something on. Like, no matter what, somebody still asks her over in the end, and I hate that. Now, I understand her mom, like, what her mom did was an accident. But, I mean, still, she has a right to be upset because... Yes, it did look like firewood. And yes, a mother or a father, whoever she lives with, could automatically think that, oh, okay, this must be firewood. It's smoother than the regular firewood. It'll burn easily. You gotta feel bad for her. So I wish you would have saw Tilly's baptism. You only really gave us like a sneak peek of it, of them just walking to the gates of the castle. So like I said, when mine gets older, in the following year, I think eventually we'll get to see her baptism. And then I think that's when the blue haired guy is going to first show up. Because with last week's preview, you thought or assume he was going to show up. But no, I think with this next episode, he'll finally show up. Depending if they're going to do like a flash forward a year later and such, and she's still trying to do things, or they might do something else. I really don't know. But Yes, I gotta feel sorry for this child. Like, no matter how hard she tries, she still gets fucked over in the end. So either, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My children, oh my god, look at them, they look so beautiful together. Why would you show me this? They look so cute. Honestly, they look a little older, even though they still look the same age. But looking at Lutz, like, because he's a little bit taller, or a lot taller than mine. Yeah, they look a little bit older, like they're in their teens and such. They just so cute. I can't. I just need them to be together by the end of this series. But it seems like meeting one of two things is going to happen. Of course, we're going to have our little play date date with Lutz and Mr. Otto, where eventually Otto and Lutz are finally going to meet and they're going to talk. Or it could finally mean that the high priest and mine are officially going to meet for the first time. And that's how eventually she's going to be able to finally see an actual another book again and it's going to be all empty and such and she's going to be able to write whatever she wants to I'm just saying I mean you know no matter what all these bad things that are happening to her all these fails that she's gonna she's getting as of right now five episodes into this show she's gonna have one success her first success I mean was I mean typically um the uh the chalks and then her second one was the um the clay ones like the ones that actually look like freaking ink when you hold them and such so those are like her two successes um but her third and possibly maybe even final one or maybe more later on is her officially finally being able to write a book and write in the book and be able to write that story that her mother essentially has told her so many times ever since she's been in this world since episode one I'm just hoping that it happens. I need her to officially kind of have one more success. Because as I said, throughout how many failures she's had throughout these five episodes, she's had already like two successfuls and like, mm, <laughs> like 
several fails. So let her have another one. She deserves it. She deserves everything. She deserves the world. She's adorable. Look at her. And Luz, like, look at them. Like, honestly, I really want to take a screenshot of this picture because that was so cute. And just be like, look at my babies. Oh, my God. Just want to go on Twitter. I know I'm myself. I'm probably going to go somewhere and, like, literally find this picture because they just look so freaking cute together. My children. If they, I swear to God, if they don't get, the, get together by the end of this series, we're going to have a problem. A really big problem. Like, we already know she likes him and Lutz mm, kind of likes her. I mean, you can tell that the chemistry between the two since they are the youngest out of their brothers and sisters, um, that they look adorable together, and they belong together, and the, the fact is when one's upset, the other one picks them up and stuff. I mean, that's what you want in a relationship. When someone is weak, you want your significant other to be strong, and when they're weak, you're strong for them. And that's what they do. They bring it out on each other. And I can. It's too many feels. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 5 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Match with Scott. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 6. Bye, guys. <laughs>